Good morning. This is Jonathan Millard and Andrea Millard, and welcome to Morning Prayer for Tuesday, August the 18th. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be always acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Let us humbly confess our sins to Almighty God. Almighty and merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have, we have offended, offended against your holy laws. laws. We, we have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done. And apart from your grace, there is no health in us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare all those who confess their faults. Restore all those who are penitent, according to your promises declared to all people in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, and grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life, to the glory of your holy name. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord, grant you absolution and remission of all your sins, true repentance, amendment of life, and the grace and consolation of his Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O Lord, open our lips. And our mouths shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. O come, let us adore him. O, o come, come, let us sing unto, unto the Lord. Lord. Let, let us heartily rejoice, rejoice in the strength of our salvation. salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the depths of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God. And, and we, we are, are the people, people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Oh, come, let us adore him. A portion from Psalm 119. Blessed are those who are undefiled in their ways. And walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are those who keep his testimonies. And seek him with their whole heart. Even those who do no wickedness and perfectly walk in his ways. You have ordered your precepts. That we should diligently keep them. Oh, that my ways were made so direct. That I might keep your statutes. Then would I not be put to shame. While I give heed to all your commandments. I will thank you with an upright heart. When I have learned your righteous judgments. I will keep your statutes. Oh, do not forsake me utterly. How shall a young man cleanse his way? by ruling himself according to your word. With my whole heart I have sought you. Oh, let me not go astray from your commandments. Your words have I hidden within my heart. That I, that I may not sin against you. Blessed are you, O Lord. Teach me your statutes. With my lips have I been telling of all the judgments of your mouth. I have had greater delight in the way of your testimonies than in all manner of riches. I will meditate on your commandments and have respect for all your ways. My delight will be in your statutes. And I will not forget your word. O oh, do well unto your servant. That I may live and keep your word. Open my eyes that I may see. The wondrous things of your law. I am a sojourner on earth. O oh, hide not your commandments from me. My soul is consumed with the fervent desire. That, is always, that it always has for your judgments. You have rebuked the proud and cursed those who stray from your commandments. O oh, turn from me shame and contempt. For I have kept your testimonies. Though princes sit and speak against me, yet will your servant meditate on your statutes. For your testimonies are my delight. And they are my counselors. Glory, Glory be, be to the Father, and, and to the Son, and, and to, to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and, and ever shall be, world without end. end. Amen.
A reading from the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. John, beginning with the 15th chapter, the 18th verse. Jesus said, If the world hates you, know that it has hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would love you as its own. But because you are not of the world, but I chose you out of the world, therefore the world hates you. Remember the Lord, the word that I said to you, A servant is not greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they kept my word, they will also keep yours. But all these things they will do to you on account of my name, because they do not know him who sent me. If I had not come and spoken to them, they would not have been guilty of sin. But now they have no excuse for their sin. Whoever hates me hates my father also. If I had not done among them the works that no one else did, they would not be guilty of sin. But now they have seen and hated both me and my father. But the word that is written in their law must be fulfilled. They hated me without a cause. But when the helper comes, whom I will send to you from the father, the spirit of truth who proceeds from the father, he will bear witness about me. And you also will bear witness, because you have been with me from the beginning. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I just, as I was reading that passage, it just jumped out at me, the the last two verses, because we've had all this kind of bleak stuff about how the world's hating us, and things are difficult, and people are not believing. And then Jesus says, but the Spirit will come. And the Spirit is our helper. And so he helps us. He helps us in our weakness. He helps us in the world. He helps us in every aspect of our life. And then in the last verse, um, Jesus says, and you will be my witnesses. And again, that struck me. You know, if we follow Jesus, if we are Christians, we are his witnesses. Uh, Whether we choose to be, want to be, or not, we are. And people notice And so let's pray this week or today that God, the Holy Spirit, would help us to be good witnesses for our Lord Jesus. So we affirm our Christian faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the the Father Father Almighty, Almighty, creator creator of heaven and earth. earth. I believe believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, show your mercy upon us. And grant us your salvation. O Lord, guide those who govern us. And lead us in the way of justice and truth. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. And let your people sing with joy. O Lord, save your people. And bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord. And and defend us by your mighty power. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And take not your Holy Spirit from us. Keep your church, O Lord, by your perpetual mercy. And because without you, the frailty of our nature causes us to fall, keep us from all things hurtful and lead us to all things profitable for our salvation. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever 
and ever. Amen. Amen. O God, the author of peace and the lover of concord, to know you is eternal life, and to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, who alone works great marvels, send down upon our clergy and the congregations committed to their charge the life-giving spirit of your grace. Shower them with the continual dew of your blessing and ignite in them a zealous love of your gospel through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Increase, O oh God, the spirit of neighborliness among us that in peril we may uphold one another, in suffering tend to one another, and in homelessness, loneliness, or exile befriend one another. Grant us brave and enduring hearts that we may strengthen one another until the disciplines and testing of these days are ended and you again give us peace in our time through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. I invite your prayers and um, thanksgivings and in particular, um, praying, as Jonathan noted, um, for the ability to, uh, to witness in the power of the Holy Spirit, to witness to uh, our neighbors and our, uh, in our neighborhoods uh, where we work and where we live. Let's take a moment to pray. Fill us, Lord, with your Holy Spirit. Help us to pray according to your will. Help us to witness, not only with our words, but with our lives. Bring to our minds today those people that need a word of blessing, a word of encouragement, or a prayer today. Lord, I pray that you'd give each one of us an opportunity today to witness to your love. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will grant the requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Well, thanks for joining us today. I hope you have a, a really good day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.